What's up everyone, in this tutorial we'll be showing you how to launch a token on Ethereum. This is a step-by-step -step guide, so please follow along in order to succeed in doing this. Now before we start, you'll need to set up your MetaMask. Download and install the MetaMask wallet from metamask.io and ensure you are on the Ethereum mainnet for a real token launch or a test network for testing. Also, you'll need to acquire some Ether. If you're using the mainnet, fund the MetaMask wallet with Ether for gas fees. For test nets, you'll need to use a faucet to get free test Ether. Step 1. You'll need to access Remix Ethereum IDE. So go ahead to remix.ethereum.org. The link to this will be in the description. Step 2. You'll need to create a new file. Now in the Remix File Explorer, create a new file and you can name this your token.sol. For example, you can say qxtoken.sol for your token contract. Step 3. You'll need to copy and paste the contract code. You can obtain an ERC20 token contract code by importing it from Open Zeppelin and paste it into your new file. Step 4. You'll need to specify the Solidity Comply version and import the necessary ERC20 contract from Open Zeppelin. Step 5. Modify contract details such as token name, ticker or symbol, total supply, and in your total supply, you'll need to define the total number of tokens. In the contract's constructor, call the mint function to send the initial supply to your wallet. This is optional. You also need to specify the contract name. Then of course, you could decide to add optional links such as adding Instagram or website links if desired. Step number six, compile the contract. In the Remix Compiler tab, enable optimization, select your Solidity Compiler version to match your code and choose the token's contract name. Then click on Compile. Step seven, deploy your contract. Go to the Deploy and Run Transactions tab in Remix. Then set the environment to Inject Web3 and ensure your MetaMask wallet is connected. Then select your token's contract from the dropdown. Click deploy and confirm the transaction in MetaMask, being mindful of gas fees. Step eight, after successful deployment, go ahead and copy your token's contract address from the deployed contract section in Remix. Step nine, import your token to MetaMask. Now go over to your MetaMask wallet, go to assets, Click Import Tokens, paste your contract address and add the custom token. Your token and its supply should be now visible. Now the following steps are post-launch steps that are optional, but these are recommended. Step 1. Verify the contract on Etherscan. You could do this by navigating to your deployed contract address on etherscan.io, find the Verify and Publish option, enter the Complier version, select MIT License, enable Optimization, and paste your entire contract code to verify. Step 2. Add liquidity on Uniswap v2. You can do this by going over to Uniswap's interface, select v2 liquidity option, then create a new pair with your token and ETH. Then impute the total supply of your token and amount of the ETH for liquidity and supply liquidity. Step 3. Enable trading. Return to your contract on Etherscan, connect your deployer wallet, find the function to enable trading, set it to true and confirm the transaction. Step 4. Lock liquidity. To build trust, you'll need to lock your liquidity provider tokens using platforms like Unicrypt or Pinklock. This involves finding your liquidity pair address and specifying the amount and duration of the lock. Step 5. Manage contract functions. As a deployer, you may have access to functions for airdrops, burning tokens, withdrawing balances, setting cooldown periods, locking functionality, renouncing ownership and adjusting fees or limits. Now be aware that renouncing ownership makes these parameters immutable. And then lastly, step six, and this is optional, you can go ahead and list on DEX tools. You can list your contract address on DEX tools to make it chartable, though it might not appear immediately until trading begins. And by following these steps carefully, you'll be able to launch a token on Ethereum. Go ahead through the steps again in case you're stuck and you'll succeed at launching your token. Thanks for watching.